Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to show you another really cool feature that's part of the latest firmware update from DJI for the Mavic 3 Pro. It's called AR Aircraft Shadow, and it's a feature that can really help you safely land your drone in almost any situation with pinpoint accuracy. And here's how the feature works. So let's say you're out flying your drone, you're getting down to about 25% on your battery, and you've got to bring it in for a landing. And let's say you're in a field with a lot of tall grass and a really small landing zone. Now, you could certainly try and eyeball it and land it on a tiny little path, but how many times have you tried that and it comes down right in the tall grass and you've nicked up your propellers? Well, what this feature does, and I think it's brilliant, is as you're descending, if you flip your camera down to point down at the ground where your landing zone is, when you get under 50 feet, all of a sudden, on the screen, boop, a little image of a drone pops up to show you exactly where your drone's gonna set down. Now, it's not an approximation, it's pretty much pinpoint where that drone's gonna land. So as you continue to descend, and this is the coolest part, that image gets bigger and you can see exactly the way the drone is facing and where it's gonna set down. So if you're a little off the path to the side, you're not gonna land in this tall grass. You can make an adjustment and put it down right in the grass. Now you might be thinking, Rick, I can eyeball a landing from 40 yards away. I can definitely see where it's landing. I'm here to tell you you can't because as humans, we're binocular creatures. We've got two eyes, which work great for left and right, they don't work so great from far and close, right? There's a thing called parallax error. When you try to judge how far away something is, you can approximate it, but if you're trying to land in a small area like this, you're gonna miss it every time. So what this feature does is allow you to exactly land even 100 yards away right on the mat. And I think it's absolutely incredible. Now I'm gonna take you outside in a minute and show you this thing in practice because I've got a field near me where there's a running track and a lot of tall grass on either side. I'm gonna take off, move it around a little bit and land it right on that path. But I've tried this where I've landed it 100 yards away from me, 200 yards away from me, and put it down right in the center of the mat based on this particular feature. But before I get to that, let me tell you what the firmware update particulars are so you can do this firmware update and know you've got the latest version. The firmware was released on September 5th, and the aircraft firmware, once you're done, is going to update to V01.00.1200. If you're using the RCN1 controller, that's going to update to V04.13.1000. If you're using the DJI RC controller, that's going to update to V01.03.500. And if you're using the DJI RC Pro remote controller, that's going to update to V03.02.0500. Now, this also updates the DJI Fly app and that should end up on version V1.11.4. So once you do the update, always be careful to do the firmware on the drone and your controller and check your batteries. And I'll talk a little bit about that at the end, but the important thing to remember is once you do this firmware update, there are four different features that are built into the new firmware that can really enhance your flying experience. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'm gonna head out in the field, I'll show you how it works, and then I'll come back with a couple of final comments. AR Aircraft Shadow is another feature that's part of the brand new firmware from DJI for the Mavic 3 Pro, and it's an incredibly cool feature that will really help you when you're landing your drone. So essentially what this feature does is as you're descending, if you point your camera down and you're under 50 feet, the software will superimpose an image of the drone exactly where it's going to land below you. So it's using augmented reality where it's superimposing that drone on the image you're seeing on your controller. So you can land, for example, if you're out fishing and you got to land on a pier, or maybe you're out in a boat and you want to land on the bow of the boat, or maybe you're out in a field like this and you've got a lot of high grass around you and a tiny little path in the middle that you want to land on. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So let me turn on the screen recording and I'll put the drone up. And then what I'd like to do is actually put it up to, I don't know, 100 feet or so, fly a little bit. And then I'll actually try and land it with using this new feature. So let me put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing when I'm flying. All right, so we start at the screen recording. And now I'm going to put the drone up. Let me start the recording. All right, we're all set. I, I get so excited with these new features. All right, let me put the drone up. Props are spinning. Drone's up in the air. All right, I'll take it up to, let me see, I don't know. We'll take it up to right about 100 feet. Okay, so we'll fly a little bit forward fly a little bit to the right, then I'll fly a little bit back. Now I'm somewhere over the path. Let me spin the camera down. All right, there's the path, and it shows my home point. Now let me try and descend. Now I'm at 105 feet, so I'm going to come down pretty quickly till I get close to 50. There's nothing there yet, nothing at all to see, but as I'm descending, all right, we're getting close to 50, so let me slow down a little bit. All of a sudden you'll see a little drone pop up right under where the drone's going to land. Now I'll come down a little bit further, a little bit further, and you see that drone in the center? 
right over the path. Now I'm not on the path, I'm way off the path. So what I've got to do now is adjust because again, if this is far away from you, you're not going to know where that path is. So let me pull back a little bit. Now I'm dead center on that path. And if I come down, I'm going to land right in the middle of it. And that would be hard for me to navigate even from this distance. But imagine I was trying to land on the path over there. I wouldn't have any clue at all what was going on. So it's a perfect tool to help you, again, if you've got to land in kind of a sketchy situation, if you're on a dock or maybe you've got a really small area where we're going to put the drone down, or even if you're hand launching and hand catching the drone, a lot of times the winds will kick up and then you've got to land at some place. This feature is going to be brilliant in showing you exactly what's below the drone, but more importantly, where that drone's going to land. And it's going to give you pretty much pinpoint accuracy. So I think they've done a great job with this. Now, stay tuned, then I'll go back to the studio. I've got a few more things I want to mention. So how cool is that? Now for me, that's something I'm going to use every time and I almost don't know how I got by without it before they introduced the feature because just like a lot of you, I fly in some pretty rugged areas. I fly in the bay a lot. I fly over a lot of water. I fly in the woods and sometimes I've got to land it on my mat, but other times I'm trying to land on a dock or I'm out in a boat and I got to land it on the actual bow of the boat. And boy, it's every time I do it, it's sketchy because it's coming down and I'm trying to get a three-dimensional view of where it's going to land and, and sometimes I'll miss it. And if you're trying to land it on the bow of a boat and you miss it, it's going in the drink, right? So you don't want the thing to slide off the, off the bow and into the water. So this feature shows me with complete accuracy exactly where the drone's going to set down. And I think it's just wonderful. And the bigger issue, and I've said this before, when you buy a product like this, and then over time, new software comes out, new firmware comes out that enhances the features of that product to allow it to do things that it didn't do when you initially purchased it, I think that's wonderful. And that's a company, DJI, that's thinking about you as a flyer and they've got engineers in the labs always thinking about, okay, we released the Mavic 3 Pro, what else can we do with it? Well, this whole augmented reality thing has really taken off and the software is incredibly smart. Why don't we build some augmented reality features into the firmware that help people fly their drones a little bit safer? Now, this is only one out of four. I talked about one other one and I've got two more to discuss, but for me, this AR aircraft shadow, <laughs> it's a winner, it's a home run, and it's built into the drone, and I've used it so much lately that I almost forget that it's a new feature. It's just incredibly cool. So when you do your update, I mentioned this before, do the update in the drone, make sure that the firmware updates completely. It'll update your controller as well. It will also update your batteries. So if you have a battery in the drone when you do the update, power down the drone, take out the battery. If you have another battery, stick it in the drone. It's going to say firmware update required. It's going to touch the controller on that second battery, the third battery, the fourth battery. So make sure you do that when you're in a Wi-Fi area because heaven forbid you do one battery, you're so excited to try the features, you get out in the field, you slip the second battery in and it says, hey, you need to do a firmware update. And then you're like, oh, I don't have any Wi-Fi connectivity. So make sure you get all your batteries updated at the same time and you're going to be good to go. But my recommendation is grab this firmware today, download it on your Mavic 3 Pro, get out there and fly and start experimenting with these features because I love a company that looks at me as a consumer and says, you know what? We can do a really nice thing by releasing new firmware and enhancing the product he's already got. Let's just release some new firmware and show him these cool features. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me today. I, uh, I love this drone. I fly this drone almost every day. I'm sure a lot of you that are flying this particular drone feel the same. I fly a lot of different drones, but this one in particular has really caught my attention lately and it captures some incredibly good footage. And these additional features just make it even more fun to fly and a lot safer as well. So thanks an awful lot for watching. And as always, until next time, <laughs> happy flying. Thank you.